I'm Lady Aska, and today I want to show you how to get rid of all kinds of clipping issues, from clothes, mouth, eyes, to even hair clipping. Let's go! We first start in Vroid, because a lot of issues can be fixed here already. Many may know this already, and I think I mentioned it in another video too, but cloth clipping can be easily avoided using the skin mask in Vroid directly. To do that, you would go to the outfit tab first, and I will pick an outfit just to showcase the issue. By the way, did you guys see all the beautiful new presets we got lately? Now we quickly go to the photo booth option in the top right corner and check if we can spot some clipping already by using different animations on our avatar. I know that a really common spot is the waist, and you can see here how the skin is actually clipping through. I personally use VR Imposing Desktop later to really find all the hidden spots, but Photobooth will let you see most as well, especially if you use the posing option from the poses and animation drop-down menu. As you can see here we have in any case a little clipping problem around the waist and into the back as well. So let's target that one specifically for this tutorial. Back in Outfits we press the Edit Texture button and the Customize on the right. Here you can see in the top left corner two tabs, of which one says Skin Mask. Even if you work on a layered outfit, there is usually only one active skin mask for the avatar. Here you can see how some parts are black and some are white. Black will turn your skin invisible on that part of the texture. And while this is useful as long as the part is covered by cloth, be careful of parts that you want to show. As an example, and because we want to erase parts of the waist, you could by accident also erase some skin of the upper bust area or the back, which we want to avoid, obviously. Now we save the preset and hop back into photo booth mode to check if the clipping was resolved in this area. As you can see, all of it got fixed. You can repeat the step until all clipping issues are resolved. The next problem that people often face, no pun intended, are the eyes clipping while blinking. This can also be fixed in Vroid using the expression editor. We switch to the face category and to the last menu point on the left, which is the expression editor. To showcase the problem a bit better, I will pick another face preset, as not all of them have this problem, and it may as well be that your model works right out of the box, so to say. With this option here, you can see that the closed eyes just don't look right. To fix this issue, we bring the closed slider under the eyes category to the right a little bit down, until it looks more natural, without showing anything right in the corners as well. Problem number three is the mouth. I will warp it here to a bit of an extreme to show the clipping. The cat mouth is super prone to this, so if you want to use that one, you will face some clipping issues nearly guaranteed. The problem is, this can't be fixed anymore in Vroid itself, and we would have to fix this in Unity, using a special skin mask for the face that for some reason isn't accessible through Vroid, but works similar to the skin mask we used for clothes. Even if you never used Unity before, I promise this is one of the easiest things to do and can save you a lot of headache. We export our avatar with the Delete Transparent Meshes deactivated and even more importantly the Combine Hair Meshes deactivated, otherwise we won't be able to adjust hair clipping later properly. Now we open a new Unity project and since I want to show how to fix hair clipping as well, I have to choose one of the more recent versions. So if you also want to fix some hair clipping, this will only be possible with one of the newer versions of Unity and the UniVRM plugin. Keep that in mind. I will be using version 2021.2.17f1 for this example. Name it whatever you want and wait until the program loads up completely, which can take a bit of time. Then we select Assets from the upper menu, Import Package, Custom Package, and import our UniVRM plugin to import our .vrm model into Unity. We create a folder and drag the model right into it, once the plugin is fully installed. Then we drag the model into the left side, into the sample scene. Now, just to show the clipping a bit further, I will use the face sliders under the blend shapes to increase the clipping. What we need now, though, is the face mask under textures, this one here. 
you will right click on it and select show in explorer. From here you will open this one in a photo manipulation software like GIMP, Photoshop or like me here in Paint Tool Sci. But this alteration will be easily done as all you have to do now is to use the select tool and draw a box around the mouth. This will be our new masking area. Once the selection is complete, we will fill the selection box with the bucket tool in black and save our image. This will now automatically replace the version we had in Unity and fix our clipping problem. I'm sure you guys found that super useful because I saw so many people having this problem. And as a little reminder, I didn't come up with this. This was posted by Agama Witch on Twitter a while back. And I was surprised that no one really talked about this so far and that still not many people know about this technique. Now, last but not least, let's tackle the most requested part of this video, the hair clipping. Now, hair clipping can be particularly tricky the more hair you have, because you will have to identify the exact spring bone of the hair that is clipping through. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. First, you have to make sure that you're using also the newer version of the UniVM plugin, I used here the version 0.106.0. You will see if everything is correct if your model is showing up with all these colored lines here. These are the model's spring bones. If you want to avoid clipping of hair strands, you have to imagine these as magnets that repel each other. One thing that you can try in Vvoid before going into Unity is actually to increase the size of the spring bones and thus making it more likely that they will repel with the body spring bones already. All we can do here in Unity is to alter the size further on both ends, to better guarantee that the clipping of the hair through clothes, for example, doesn't happen. At the moment, the yellow cycles in the hair are my hair spring bones and the pink ones here are for the body. I will demonstrate in animation mode how this whole repelling can look like if done correctly. For that, we press the play button at the top. We switch then back to scene, so don't worry if your character is facing the wrong direction on the game preview. Adjust your own view of the scene so that your character is visible from the front. To test some movement, we will grab the head bone under root, hips, spine, chest, upper chest and neck. Now we select the rotation tool and rotate the head around a bit. As you can see, most of the hair gets actually repelled by the arm. But let's experiment a bit so you can get the idea. We can first increase the arm spring bones. We select the left shoulder here and go through the different bones. In the inspector to the right, you can see the VRM spring bone colliders. I can click on each of these elements and increase their radius. You may see already how the hair gets repelled if I overdo it. Now we have apparently one strand that doesn't really work with that and this can have two reasons. Reason one could be because this strand didn't actually receive any bones or reason two that the colliders here are not as big or well-placed as the others. I will separate the strand a bit and scroll down on the left side to secondary. Here we can see the hair spring bones now and it seems that these strands really didn't have any bones and thus can't interact with the arm spring bones. This would be an easy fix in Vroid, you would just have to add some bones to these hair strands. Let me quickly show you how to access the spring bones here and how to identify which bone belongs to which pair of strands. Scroll down on the inspector until you find the comments filled with hair. As you can see here, the first is bust, the second is tops upper arm and so on, until we find hair. There will be multiple like that, which is why I recommend to color each of them in a different color. By the way, if you can't see the gizmos, which are these colored balls here, then this means you either didn't use the right Unity Uni VRM version remember that it has to be one of the newer ones, or it could be that your gizmos are just turned off. You can activate deactivate them here at the top. Now after coloring your hair, you can play with the hit radius slider and see if the hair gets repelled correctly. Usually you only would increase it a bit to avoid the shoulders or the top area for example. One last advice while playing with the radius sliders here and on the body, mark down the values that you are happy with as exiting play mode will reset them to their default values. After exiting play mode, you would then set the values again and export your avatar with the new spring bone configurations that you were happy with. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. I see you guys on the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.